All right, just enjoying a, a nice morning cup of coffee here by the river. Um, I didn't have a chance to make an intro when I was out there, so I'm just making a quick one now. Uh, this past week, I went out to the uh, corduroy and duro just as a spectator, just to watch the just to watch the carnage. Um, but it was really cool. As on Friday, they had the demo days, so I loaded my gear up. I went out there to check out the uh, the Saron lineup. I was been really really excited to get on the full size Saron's. Uh, I mean, like the mid size Ultra B and the full size Storm B especially. Um, so it was a really really cool opportunity to do that. Lots of people were out there. I mean, the demo day was packed. I couldn't believe how many people were out there <laughs> for the demo day. It was, it was really quite surprising. I mean, it was awesome. Great, great that we're getting that kind of turnout. Um, but that did limit the amount of time I had on each bike. I was only allowed to get one lap in on each one, and, and I get it. Everybody needs an opportunity. Um, but thoroughly impressed. Like, really, wow. Those bikes are, uh, those bikes are, are actually quite good. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in finding out my, uh, my true first thoughts, first impressions, just swing my leg over the bike for, like I said, five to 10 minutes and just talking about what I feel. Um, yeah, check out these couple of clips cause, uh, yeah, those bikes are awesome. Oh man, she gets bogged down in the sand. This thing's actually all right. Holy, does it ever pick up speed. Jeez Louise and cheese. The suspension is actually really good on this. I'm super, super surprised. Okay. Wow, that was a little bit of change in light. <laughs> My eyes barely adjusted for that in time. I don't know if the GoPro did. Holy smokes. So this is super, super soft out here. I don't know what you can tell. It's like super sandy. This is a, a great opportunity to see what this thing's like. And like a real situation because this is where I found in the past electric bikes suffer is like an actual woods riding because I oh little slidey there not too keen on these tires but who knows what the heck they are oh they're a bit uh Bit shady on the front, I will say that. Phew. Okay, which one's the uh I gotta remember here, this is super weird having two handbrakes, which one's the rear? This is doing alright. Oh my god. <laughs> that rut was so deep, dude. This thing is, this demo track out here is getting so beat up. You really got to be careful on the brakes because they are incredibly touchy. <laughs> this thing is really weird in situations like that. It's just, it's it's abrupt, but the, the uh, controller on it is definitely a lot better than what was on the Talaria I rode once. And it's also much improved from the Zero MX that I rode. Now that was a original series Zero MX. So I'm sure they've come a long way since then. Dude, look how beat this thing, this track is, look how beat it up it is. It's just torn apart. <laughs> Man. <laughs> A little bit of time there. <laughs> it's 
super slick though. <laughs> Like there's no lack of get up and go from this thing. Dude, the ruts are just crazy. These are like moto ruts. I mean, I know there's dirt bikes out here, but like from a motocross track, these are insane. Guys are just beating the piss out of this loop, man. Go up here. Try to avoid the ruts the best I can on this because it gets pretty sunk into them. And this doesn't have like full width moto tires. I really got to get used to that concept of having the rear brake up on my hand. If there was an option for a foot brake, I would 100% take it. And even though I'm like a, I'm also a mountain bike guy, I guess it's just a muscle memory from the weight. It's causing me to think like the brakes down by your foot. Like it's something that's, and not only that, but the reverse from a mountain bike as well. The reverse, the, the side of them, right? Like if you ride British mountain bikes, that's not the case, but I do not. There you go. <laughs> went to shift down there because I went in that bit hot. Dude, it's actually like doing really, really well through these bumps. Like I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. <laughs> Yo, like I'm a sand guy, but I'm used to, I don't know, they do behave differently in the sand. Oh, oh, this guy thing's got a horn. So what I think is happening with the, the sand and this thing ain't pushed around, it's a bit like, it's more like a little two-stroke. That's how I put this. It's like riding like a, YZ85. It's easily manipulated by the ground around it. Wow. That is, uh, that thing's great. That's really, really good. Hopping on the Storm be next. Pretty stoked on this one. So this one's more full size, 280 pounds. This one's about the same size as uh, my 300 I got. But the interesting part about this, it's got a vertical shock on it. So I'm interested to see how that's gonna behave. From what I've heard, the suspension's pretty similar to the trail bikes I've had in the past. So let's see what she does. I got this thing that's sport mode. So rear brake up here again. See how that goes. Well, this one's got this guy has proper tires on, which is going to be good because it's super, super sandy out here on this uh, on this demo track. It's unbelievably sandy. Look at this, just cruising by. The dog doesn't even mind. That's the best part. Oh yeah, that that rear shock is super, super. That rear shock is super, super pogoey. You know what? Even though the shock is super bouncy. Having that additional size and mass is making this bike so much more enjoyable. 
Oh, you went over that rock. You just gotta get your weight in the right spot, that's all. Oh, again, this freaking, this is so dark in here. Ooh. These ruts are just brutal. Oh, sorry guys, can't hear me coming. <laughs> Nobody can hear this thing coming down the trail. <laughs> this thing is actually phenomenal. I'm trying to pick smart lines here because this track is super beat up. I'm just going to be smart about where I go. Oh god, that hole. Go up this side here. Jeez, that was deep. But look at that, no clutch work. That was actually pretty cool. How well that bike handled that, man. That was absolutely awesome. Oh. Sorry, buddy, I'm getting around you here, okay? Pop the camera there. Oh, <laughs> that's twice now with the horn. I don't do that as much on my 300L. This is obviously in a different position than that thing. Oh God, this is so rough. rut is holy cow get it right to there <laughs> you can just grab whatever you want there's no exhaust that's mint but yeah we gotta stay out of those ruts they're so deep guys are just beating this track to pieces <laughs> Like, look how deep that is. Holy cow. But yeah, anyways, back to this bike. I'm having a blast. But one lap of just complete fun on this thing. Oh, dude. So good. This thing's an animal. Oh, shit. Jumping down and into rocks. I shouldn't be hitting this track as fast because I don't know it. You can't help yourself. We're having this much fun. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa!
I remembered that section, so I waited to go too fast into it. So much dust. It's insane. Shit! This thing's a weapon! Man, the very first time I felt that rear shock, there was a pocket, good dong, pull good the shit out of it, get your weight a little further back, just drag a touch of rear brake, settles it right down.